I don't use all of that makeup because I don't need it. Be in my face cause you know you It's your girl Imani and we're just gonna go ahead and jump straight into this video just don't forget to subscribe and let's get into my go-to makeup routine so first thing that I like to do honestly is I like to moisturize my face and I'm not even gonna lie to you if you've been on my channel watching everything I have still have not unpacked yet I still have all my stuff packed up from that Nantucket trip I love to use the Mary Beauty glow skin I just I really love this like you can use it with or without makeup I'm gonna use it right now to moisturize my skin and have that nice glow to me. So the next thing I'm going to use, which is crazy because you guys normally see me also to um, do my brows on camera, but lately I've been doing the whole thing where I do it off camera again because it just takes too long. So I'm probably just gonna zoom past the brow part on here, but. I love a good makeup look. So now that I got my primer on and that was the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer, that's not when I cinema. I'm gonna go in with the Tea Tree Oil Moisturizer. And I'm going to just put that in my T-zone because that's normally where I get oily at anyway. And I'm honestly gonna zoom past all this stuff. Like I didn't even get the peach fuzz off of my face yet. Oh, but that's okay. Cause I don't got time for that. All right, so now that that's on there, I'm actually going to use the Lawless Beauty blush. This one is in the shade Valentine. She's stupid cute. So I'm gonna use a Technique brush and we're just going to put her on. I need a clip, damn it. Whatever, we're just gonna do it like that. I've used her before, but never really actually gave her the attention she needed. But I like her. She's super duper cute. Let me know if y'all have tried the Lawless Beauty Pinch My Cheek Soft Blur Blush Cream. It's super, super good, as you can see, it's really pigmented. Don't be alarmed by what I'm doing right now, I know it looks crazy, it always starts off looking crazy. If you've been on my channel this long, you know I always look a little delusional first. But just know, it's not gonna stay that way. All right, so now I'm gonna actually go into my concealer. So this is by Timeless Beauty, my beauty brand. And it's an unreleased product, but all the shades are basically the same as the foundations. But yeah, that's what we're doing. I'm trying to rush and do this. So it's almost gonna be like a speed makeup tutorial. So forgive me if I like zoom past anything. That's why I said I like doing lives. Lives are more real time and I can talk to y'all. Cause I low key feel like I'll be talking to myself. And just like that. Then what I like to do next is I'm going to take a setting spray. Um, sometimes I'll alternate between, this is actually by Shop Missy. This one is by Milk Clearly. I don't know which one I'm going to use right now, but I kind of need something matte so I don't get oily. So I'm going to use this one. It comes out really aggressive. And then we're going to let that dry down a bit. Remember, I need my phone. I ain't going to y'all. Uh, I'm put, like I said, I'm supposed to be, oh! Yeah, that's really bad. I hate when I do this to myself. I feel like, I just feel so incomplete when I don't have the right brushes to blend out with. And I'm not using a brush I don't really use. Oh, uh -huh. they're right here in my face. So I'm gonna use my Real Techniques brush. This is actually a setting powder blush. Blush, ha, brush, but I like to use it to blend out my concealer. I just like the HD effect it gives to it. And if you see any pink going into my concealer, I'm okay with that, cause you know, we got flesh tones all over the face and we need this stuff to mesh together anyway. So I personally went really heavy handed under the eyes because I really like a full coverage look under my eye. I know a lot of people into that teen girl aesthetic. I am not, I am a glamour girl. I like full glam, okay? All right, let me this mount. I like to put too much right here because we don't want I know this looks crazy, but chill out, not too much of me. I normally gel my brows down first too. I don't know why I didn't take my stuff out in front of me the last time. This like tutorial is gonna be all over the place just because I'm like rushing. 
Oh my gosh, that's right. I literally just said to you guys, <laughs> I didn't finish unpacking. So this one is actually Magical Girl. It's This one is really good. I'm not trying to sound like, you know, I'm, that is what it is. I'm gonna say what I wanna say. So I feel like Orlando Bloom said, like, I say what I wanna say. I said what I wanna say. No, I said what I wanna say. 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 The fuck? This is way better than the NYX brow gel. This stuff actually lays your like brows down. And I mean down down. Like it feels like an edge control. And you don't need much either, but I really, really, really love this brow gel. I remember when the gel brows things came on the scene, people were like, what is that? Why are you doing that? I used to use eyelash glue, and don't get me wrong, my brows would last all day too, but baby, at first people was like, what is this soap brow thing? Why are you doing it? We get it, why now? Because it lays the brows down and they stay there for a long time. So now I'm going to a bronze my face. So I'm gonna go back in with my shop and say, I'm gonna mix it to the shop and and the elf because I like the golden glow that it gives, but at the same time, it just seems a little light. But this one is also like kind of dark. Like you see what I'm talking about? But it match, like it makes sense. I'm gonna just put like a small little dot of both of them. Right there. See like that's, that's really light. I don't even need that, so I'm not gonna do that. So, I'm gonna go in with my angle brush, and I'm gonna use this cute Ninja Turtle mirror, and let's go ahead and do that. Blend her out. I like to blend upward. I don't like to drag it down, because I feel like the second you start dragging it down, you look like you have a mustache, and we don't want that. So, I'm going to blend her upward, slightly into the blush. That way, it gives off this beautiful gradient effect. Same thing over here. I know this blush still looks very heavy handed, but just bear with me. Take the trip, take the ride. I know you guys are hearing this stuff in the background. I'm about to go turn it off because it's actually annoying the crap out of me. Dinners are flying here, what the F? See, this is why I just be like, you know what? I need my own like recording space. And technically this is my recording space, but I need one where it's uninterrupted by my everyday life and what's going on around me. Cause it's not good. Put some on the chin. She looks crazy, but I promise you, all of this is gonna come together momentarily. All right, and then I'm going to use my Timeless Beauty Foundation. This fly in here is going to like literally get on my nose. Then I'm going to use a good foundation brush. And we're just going to blend her out. See, she's still good. I know on camera, it might look a little crazy. Like what I'm looking at right now, my monitor looks insane. But normally when I like finish, everything looks really, really good together. All right, because I was low-key supposed to vlog some of this. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go sit my tripod up real quick. So, so we live. This fly in here is really gonna piss me off. Get out of here, where's my husband? He be getting all the flies. Yo, my station looks horrible. Like, if I can zoom out for you guys and show you, like, you might even just see my bonnet back there a little bit. But like, like this back here? looks really good but this uh, never again so i'm gonna go in with the revolution the banana powder and we're just gonna tap it my dad i don't even really need that much too much you're doing too much chill out okay so I'm going to blend out my concealer again under my eye because I don't want any creases. And my puff pads are behind me. Mm. Mm. All right, so we're gonna take some of that puff pad. I like to take the excess off on the back of my hand because it do be a lot. And we're just going to press her in like so. So now I typically use either the ELF HD setting powder or the Laura Mercier, but I ain't gonna lie to you, I'm long overdue for an Ulta run. 
and this is what I found in my makeup vault and I was like thank the makeup lords because I almost went to Nantucket <laughs> without a setting powder anyway so we're all good though we're all good so I'm just going to press everything in I'm not the baking type I know I probably should be but I just found that I don't really need all of that um powder on my face I'm not gonna say you need all that makeup I feel like one of those girls is like I don't use all of that makeup because I don't need it oh you think you don't need it but you really just don't know how to do it so that's your problem so yeah that's basically what I'm on right now I'm not gonna use too much it looks crazy but just wait when I start melting everything together. And then I like to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Press Powder. This one is in 330 Toffee Caramel, Toffee Caramel, yeah. And I like to use this over my setting powder because I don't want to be that bright. I like to use this to tone it down. To me, it gives for like that natural finish. It's almost like um, a finishing powder. So like if you're into like the Mac Studio Fix, essentially this is what this is but you can use it by itself too if you want to just wait until i blend this in and then i'm also rushing so everything looks a little crazy right now then i'm gonna go in with my um hula bronzer this is the caramel one this is by benefit cosmetics angled brush tap off the excess because i don't like to do too much and then i like to really like lightly tap and go in an upwards motion like so because it gives me what i need i have a 4k camera so my camera be giving me like low-key anxiety because it be making me feel like i don't know how to do my own makeup but then when i look in the mirror i'll be like no this like actually looks right and i'm not one of those people that's in denial about their makeup like legitimately be like no, this is really good this is actually really good so now I'm actually gonna switch it up and I'm gonna go in with the Milk Hydro Grip. My little fan is not working right now. I have to charge it. Oh my gosh, I know I use a lot. But I use a lot for a reason because I'm really about to like melt this makeup in. So I like to let this dry down a little bit before I actually go back in with my foundation brush to really press this setting spray in. So I'm gonna do that right now. And then I like to just lightly. So I like to lightly tap like so. And then in doing so, like I said, going back over with my foundation brush, just really melts everything together because it already has the foundation on here. So it gives everything like a nice seamless line. Yeah. This fly is gonna piss me off. Then, so I feel like I'm like really having a brain fart. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I'm gonna go in with the Halo Sculpt. This is by Smashbox. I just like to use the, it's like berry. I could be completely wrong. <laughs> it's actually called like Juicy Juicy, but I don't like to call it berry because it looks like berry to me, but it's Juicy Juicy. And that's this one right here. And we're gonna put some blush on and just lightly tap. Like so. Like that's that looks really good. Like see it's it's actually coming together. It really is. Like just wait till I finish my brows and everything. And then put the lashes on and you guys can be like, ah, oh. I'm like, yeah, I told you, just like be patient with me. This fly. All right, so now that we got our blush on, I'm actually going to like get out of here. I'm actually going to zoom through my brows because that's when it takes the longest. So originally I had another 
lip gloss by Lawless. I think it was like brown sugar and I really, really like that one, but for whatever reason, I can't find it right now. So we just not gonna deal with it because I don't even deal with it. And it be like that sometimes. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to the lips. My brown lip liner is, this one may just be by Kiss New York Pro. Um, yeah, it's very simple, very inexpensive. You can find it at your local beauty supply store. And I'm going to basically do like a flawless. This is the Forget the Filler. This one is in the shade Nude or Nudie. And then this one is the Nubian Sand Julius Place lipstick. Yeah, I'm about to end this shit real early because this is, if this fly come back over here, I'm gonna smack this shit out of it. I'm so tired of this fly. Bitch. Don't come back over here. It's like it wanna be, it, it's trying to piss me off. I really want that other one just because I'm gonna just put a little bit of this in the middle, but I'm gonna go in with my, and I just looked at it, don't piss me off. Yeah, so I'm gonna go in with the praline on top of it, and then I'm gonna go on the inside with the, uh, the nudie, because I don't want my whole lip to be nudie. And then I put a little bit of mascara. I told you, like, it always looks crazy when I first start off, but then when I finish, it's giving. So we're gonna do a little bit of mascara down here. Perfect. And then we're going to spray one more time. I'm not gonna use the milk. I'm actually gonna use my matte. And then we're gonna pan, and I'm not actually going to press that in or nothing. I'm just gonna leave this as is. But that is pretty much it for this look, guys. I'm about to completely like change out of these clothes and go put on something else. But yes, this is it for the look. Oh, let me put my wig down in the back, y'all. But she was up a little high. But yeah, that is pretty much it for this look, guys. I hope you enjoy. Do not click off of my channel just yet. Be sure to subscribe. Like if you like this video. Comment if you want to talk to your girl. And stay tuned for the next video because the next video will be uploaded. Honestly, I don't even know when I plan on uploading this one. I have a schedule with things. But if you're seeing this, just know I'm uploading four videos a week at 4 p.m. on the weekdays and the one live on Saturday. So let me be clear. Three videos on the weekday and then the video on Saturday on live at 2 p.m. So weekday videos, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 4 p.m. Live video, Saturday at 2 p.m. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and sign off, charge my camera, and be out this door and record this vlog for you. So stay on my channel. Bye!